how to antenna and I just tell him. What we're gonna do is we're gonna touch on some of the basics. Um let me go over here and let's draft down some of the basics, alright? Okay, uh some of the basics. The first thing that's necessary is R First thing is orientation. Orientation that's very, very important. Reason being, many of I and I are disorientated. Orient actually means means east. Orient means east. And we know the prophetic statement is to look to the east. Look to the east for the crowning of a black man. In him you will find the Redeemer. Look to the east. Look to Africa. Look to the east. These words, although attributed to Marcus Messiah Garvey, the look to the east. Let's put this right here. Look to the east. Although attributed to Marcus Garvey, you have to know about this man right here, James Morris Webb, and he actually was a Reverend, Reverend James Morris Webb, and it's Reverend James Morris Webb who originally uttered those prophetic words of look to the east in connection with the crowning of a black man and stating something prophetically that this crowning of a black man would also be directly connected with let me write it right here with the kinsman redeemer the kinsman redeemer in him you will find the Redeemer. In Him, you will find that kinsman Redeemer. Now, this is very prophetic. And it's very important that we understand this when we touch on orientation. When we touch on orientation, even we can do this. Make this a target right here. It must be a target. It must be a focus. It must be a goal. So, orientation within society with Imperial Majesty, let us call this. L O J S line of Jew society of his imperial majesty is concerned with getting us from being disorientated that means looking to the west when we look to the west we are disorientated because orient means east so orientation is the first is the first element of discipleship is comparable to becoming a member of the society, coming up, becoming a member of the household of faith, especially for the lost sheep, especially for the lost black sheep, but for everyone. Everyone in this present world, because of Babylon, is disorientated. Now, our people, the lost black sheep in the Americas, since the 1530s, 1600s, the so-called Negroes, so-called Africans. Actually, they were Ethiopian Hebrews, or Hebrews who were identified as being Ethiopian, the so-called slaves who came here during the transatlantic slave trade, which originally the Atlantic Ocean, the Southern Atlantic Ocean, was called the Ethiopic Ocean. You can look this up. You can look at some of the maps from the time. And you also find that those so-called slaves, in addition to being called Africans, originally were called Ethiopians because they were transported across the Ethiopic Ocean to the West, to the Americas and the Caribbean. So, orientation is basically about who and what we are. Who and what we were. And who and what we are to become as well as where we're from. 
where we're from, how we got here, and prophetically speaking, why and what we need to do according to the teachings of his master, according to the B-I-B-L-E, according to the Bible, according to the revelation of the kinsman redeemer. This is a very, very important point. So at that first step, we can call this one. Let's call this one. One is orientation. The very first step is orientation. Then there's a process of initiation. Initiation, what is initiation? Initiation has a lot of connotations. Many of the connotations for initiation are negative. You understand? Are thought to be bad or unseen. But when we truly look at what initiation means, it means to start, to begin. So before we can begin, the prerequisite is orientation. So orientation is our prerequisite. And Orient means East, and we are to look to the East where a black man will be crowned, for the crowning of a black man. In him you will find the Redeemer. These are the prophetic words of Reverend James Morris Webb. Reverend James Morris Webb. Now look up Reverend James Morris Webb. Of course, most Rastas and most non-Rastas have heard many of the so-called Rastas attribute the prophetic saying of look to the East to Marcus Messiah Garvey. However, Marcus Messiah Garvey, if the truth must be told, was inspired by the preaching, ministry, and the works of Reverend James Morris Webb. But Reverend James Morris Webb worked with Marcus Garvey in the UNIA, as well as other black Jews, Ethiopian, Hebrews, African Americans who recognize the connection with Ethiopia, recognize the connection of the lost sheep over here in the Americas and the Caribbean, their true identity as being Ethiopian. So Reverend James Morris Webb would work with Marcus Garvey up until the time that it was revealed that Marcus Garvey had become antagonistic to his Imperial Majesty and had spread and said many negative, untrue, unfactual things. And most of these are the rumors that you hear often circulated amongst many of the law sheep, particularly non Rastafari Jamaicans and others in the Caribbean, would spread these lies. Um, against his imperial majesty based on the lies that Marcus Garvey said when Marcus Garvey began to fulfill the John the Baptist role where John the Baptist doubted the one he had proclaimed. So the connection with John the Baptist and Marcus Garvey is interesting, but not to lose sight of what is important in this orientation. So take notes of this right here. This is very important. This is the first step is orientation. The first step is orientation. The first step in discipleship and in becoming a member of the society of his imperial majesty, a member in good standing, a member who is able to carry on the work of the king of kings being properly orientated first and foremost, starting out the right way, that's the initiation and the basic training, or what we call boot camp, is basically discipleship. Boot camp, our boot camp, our basic training is discipleship. And discipleship begins with the Torah portion, the Torah readings, and the Torah feedings, and remembering to keep the sendbed. Yet to Kedesa, holy, set apart. So the Sabbath is is very, very important. Now there are higher level um trainings. In fact, as Imperial Majesty so said this, let us let us put this down. There's three types of education. There is there is general there is general education, there is special education, and then there is higher education and all this is connected with 
education. We say EDU, education for education. So there's general education, general knowledge. There's special knowledge, specialized knowledge. And then there is higher knowledge. There's a higher sense of knowledge. Now we have to keep this in mind. This is based on teaching of his majesty. This is based on good education. So when one is being educated, we can always ask, well, what kind of education are you pursuing at this time? Are you pursuing general education? Are you pursuing special education? Or, or <coughs> are you pursuing higher education? We can't go for, to the higher education before we deal with the general education. So this can be seen as a one, two, three steps right here as we touch on education. We said there are the first basic steps is orientation. And this is all after one has become acquainted or heard the good news or has been called or inspired to seek the teachings of his imperial majesty and the good news of Christ in his kingly character. So orientation goes over once again the who, what we are, where we're from, how we got here, and the prophetical of why. That's very important. The prophetical of why is extremely, extremely important. Now, after that, after this step is completed, orientation, that means that all the newcomers, the Adis met the newcomers, would basically, this is what would take place in a newcomer's class, the basic orientation. Then we now touch on initiation. Initiation is going through some of the basics. The basics, going over some of the basics. And the basics, for example, we have um, put forward a video before that touched on some of that basic education, that basic knowledge, or we can say general knowledge. The basic one, two, threes, the basic ABCs. For example, I know one. One. What's one? Here, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one. Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Ahad. That's one. So, no one, the one God, the true God. Two, the Father and the Son. Still is one, but the Father and the Son. What is his name? And what is his son's name? That's Old Testament, but it's still true and it's revealed in the New Testament concerning the two, the Father and the Son. I know three, the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the God of Abraham, Yisahak, and Yaakov. So this is very, very important when we touch on the next level, initiation initiation. There's some basic lessons, some basic Bible lessons to go over, um, as well as the seven seals, the book of the seven seals, basically being introduced into the Targum and the explanation of what some of the basic elements in our Father's house, spiritually in the household of faith, are. Then we get into the basic training in the boot camp. This is a longer process. The initial boot camp is about a year because it's this Torah reading cycle and it's the remembering and the keeping of the Sabbath, setting the Sabbath apart as yet to Kedese. Therefore, it requires a personal, this is the key, a personal discipline, a personal discipline. And ones will be tested ones will be tested. This is what we have been meditating on. What would be appropriate? What sort of um, um, assessment of, of the knowledge that is being attained? Because we cannot teach a set of disciples and there'd be no way to assess their performance or their learning of the lesson. Because their job and role and responsibility will be to go out and to minister to others. So if they are not disciplined, therefore well-trained, then how can they go out and minister to others the message of salvation? 
at the higher level, there's the Office of Training, what we call the Maquanet, the Office of Training, or the Prince, the Prince level training. That means that the basic levels have been gone through. The basic levels have been gone through. Now, there's some additional teachings that we want to touch on, but let this uh, suffice for now. Beginning with orientation. Orient means east. Look to the east. The original proclaimer, and the true proclaimer of that word was not Marcus Messiah Garvey, but it was the African-American Reverend James Morris Webb. And he declared this word of looking to the east where a black man will be crowned king. In him you will find the Redeemer. And he spoke this word to African-American, to black people. And that word came to pass. That word came to pass with the coronation of the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, his imperial majesty, Haile Selassie I, elect of God, king of kings of Ethiopia. In him you will find the kinsman redeemer. Now this is very important as we touch on orientation, looking to the east and finding out, well, who or what are we? Who are we as a people? How do we get here? Why? Then it will become very clear at this prophetic word of the kinsman of the kinsman the redeemer. Give thanks, more to come. Stay tuned.